Right. Okay, which band was that? White Leaved Oak, that was a sort of an original folk band from Holden. Yeah. yeah. Um, what so was that like? Oh, great, I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't want to take us. Yeah, yeah. he didn't tell you. He just left. Didn't he? he just yeah. left. He didn't tell us. He didn't we, didn't play, we didn't. We didn't play the main stage. We played no. the. Um, I think like the acoustic stage or the green desert stage. But it was oh, good. Still brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So we did a few gigs. I mean, we supported strangely enough because it was a cause it was a folk band. You wouldn't have thought it was appropriate, but uh, yeah. we supported Hawkwind on about three occasions. Oh wow! Yeah, we did an activator thing called Activator Festival, yeah. and uh, we did. Um, let's say that Glastonbury, and then we had. Yeah. Hawkwind playing after us. There are a few of these gigs. We played a thing yeah. called Clyro Court, yeah. which is out Hay on Wye Way, yeah. um, which was a, a festival for um, travellers. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. When the Peace Convoy was in existence. Yeah. And uh, so that was again yeah, Hawkwind. Yeah. So I don't, know, I don't know what the attraction was. Oh, I also yeah. remember being woken up early in the morning by this blasting saxophone about four yeah. o'clock in the morning when we yeah. Glastonbury. And it was um, Nick Turner. Oh. From, from, yeah. Uh, from Hawkwind. Yeah, but was that your best gig, or was that yeah, just a gig good. where you can drop the most names? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, it was actually really good. It was on a big stage. It was on a big stage, and it yeah. was uh, actually one of my most memorable gigs. Very is, appreciated. Um, yeah. appreciated. It's many, many, many years ago when um, I got an agent down south and got us a gig at RAF St Athens oh, yeah, at Barry yeah. Island. Yeah. And it was a huge payout at the time. Yeah. It was something like seven hundred pounds. Yeah. 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 A long, long time ago, yeah. and it was, of course, huge amounts of money. But the band dropped out one by one, yeah. ultimately leaving just me and Paul. Oh. And I would have pulled out at this stage, but yeah. Paul being Paul said, no, let's do it, and yeah. dragged me down there. And we went down to play on the biggest stage I've ever seen with it was, London Palladium. It was, it was as wide as the length of a football pitch. Oh. <laughs> the stage was I'm, wide. <laughs> and of course, we, you know, we disappeared yeah. into obscurity in the middle. But, um, but we got there and they appreciated that we turned up and not let them down. Yeah. We went on, uh, we set our PA up on stage to um, massive London Palladium glittery curtains. Yeah. And um, we said, would you like us to play? They said, no, have some food first. So they sent us into the mess hall, which is yeah. apparently RAF St. Athens is one of the richest yeah. RAF clubs in, in the country. Yeah. And uh, we had the biggest meal ever under a portrait of the Queen in the yeah. mess hall. And to come back on and and, and we bought drinks and, and looked after and treated really nicely all night. And eventually we went on and did about a 40 minute stint mm. on this huge stage. They applauded immensely, loved yeah. us to bits. Then we came off and then they wanted us to stay all night and just drink with them and party, didn't they? Yeah. All these uh, wonderful people. It was uh, a great night. What yeah. I remember about that was that's the one and only time I ever remember having a dressing room with the lights around. We had the lights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, oh. yes. Oh. you made it. By the time we, had, we had a rider, we had everything. It was an amazing gig. And yeah. had the band turned up, they would have probably enjoyed it too. <laughs> but we had a good night. Uh, yes, night, night in Barry Island. <laughs> 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 it was great. I have to say, they, they treated us well. Yeah. Most, not, not necessarily my, the best gig, but the yeah. most memorable. Yeah. What about you, Sue? Probably um, the um, the Battle of the Bands gigs oh, that we yeah. did that was to good. the Northwick. Yeah. 1994. Was, footage of right. you on YouTube was this? Yes, yeah. vintage footage yeah. when we were all a bit thinner and a bit younger. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, we were so tight as a band. Yeah. We were just thin, so, so younger. tight. Yeah. No, you weren't, thin, you weren't younger, younger. now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we just went for it on the night and yeah. we just. Did we you just, win it? Yeah. We did. We won, yeah. we won out of 80-something um, pounds, I think. Yeah. Wow. But we just decided that we're, we're not very good at talking to the audience, so we'll just yeah. play our yeah. set of whatever it was, six we, songs. We joined the numbers into one another, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we, we just tried one into yeah. we, tried, we put them in order that the keys would match that we could go yeah. through the set, and we just played through the whole set. So when, ultimately, when we finished, the audience hadn't had a chance to clap, so they just went yeah. wild. And it was wow. Great. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful feeling. And what it was the prize? That <laughs> <laughs> was the one. Was well, that's another it was, story. Um, there was a there was a trophy, wasn't there, which yeah. probably got smashed on my <laughs> mum's fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were so a, a, a glass engraved trophy, trophy. Oh, which I I mean, dropped dropped on. Yeah. <laughs> So and, all the usual um, things that you and we also these. won some recording time in our own drummer's studio. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. But it, and it was the kudos of knowing that we beat Sons of Spock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And as Ni Nigel, it named Rob, Nigel Kennedy was there supporting us, wasn't he? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, it was a great night. It was a fab, <laughs> fab night. There was lots of people. There. Yeah. I think the you know the, the, the whole of 
the county turned yeah. out to support all the bands. There was a lot of local yeah. bands. So we met some nice people, some nice bands, yeah. some nice folk, some, some great music. Place to play. And the, the, you know, it was, it was a lovely family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was really a marvellous, yeah. marvellous shame. Sad. Mm. Sad that it went really. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day it'll come back. You never know, it's still kind of... Yeah, it's a gorgeous building. building. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. building is still there, still lovely inside, I would think. Yeah. yeah. It is, it's uh, listed. The yeah. inside is listed, so it can't be changed. Mm. Thank goodness. Well, when we make enough money, we may buy it. And yeah, I'd yeah, say yeah, transform it back into a music group. Good idea. So six months or so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, the fee that we're getting tonight, so obviously that will go a big oh, way towards yeah, that. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. <laughs> you sort of know, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are your influences, then? <laughs> um, uh, someone said to me the other night, I gave this guy um, uh, a CD that yeah. I've done. It's very folky, yeah. really. and he said, um, he said, do you listen to a lot of Frank Zappa and psychedelic rock? <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, I, I don't listen to a lot of Frank Zappa, yeah. but um, certainly 60s psychedelic rock, you know, yeah. um, Van der Graaff Generator, King Crimson, that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. I and mean, he could somehow see it in this folk wow. album that I'd done. I mean, I suppose there are bits yeah. and pieces where it goes a little bit, a bit avant-garde, you yeah. know, yeah. but... Uh, for him to draw that out, it yeah. was quite amazing, I thought. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I mean, it's... I'm Because I'm a singer, I'm a sucker for a good tune. Yeah. Anything with a strong melody, it's it's not so much a, an artist that I would hone in on. It's yeah. it's the... I suppose it's the quality of writing. You know, a good song is a good song, doesn't matter what genre it is. Yeah. So, anything with a really strong melody, you know, yeah. good singing, obviously. So, you kind of singer-songwriters, I suppose, I, I would yeah. rate. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I kind of... Model myself no. on anybody. No. So, yeah. yeah, well, Nick Drake, people like that. Yeah. Nick Drake. Yeah. Christy Moore, obviously, I sing a lot of Christy Moore songs. Yeah. I've always been into uh, the 70s folk heroes, especially American, you know, Neil Young, yeah. Bob Dylan, yeah. all those sort of kinds. Yeah. And the band, and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. It's always been like that, really. Yeah. But anything, really. yeah. anything that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. If we can do it well, then I'm happy doing it. Okay, do you want to do another one well now? Yes, yeah. we can. Yeah. Okay. Why not? You can do a fisherman's blues? Yeah, sure. Oh. So this is for you, Dave. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>